seen a fair bit of growth in the last 18 months within our facility, so our customers are growing, and obviously the demand on the infant formula through Asia has increased significantly. It's been a blessing to have a new facility to manufacture the cans, not only at best practice, but also to keep in line with the increased demand. Our first interaction with Scott's Automation was we went down to really just uh, visit their facility to see what they could offer us from a robotics point of view. And coming from an engineering background myself, I've always looked at not just what you can offer us, but what support you can offer as far as parts and service. The other thing was too is that Scott had two robots ready to go which allowed us to build this facility within six months and then dealing with the guys that did all the programming of the robots are oh, very accommodating. One of the key criteria of this was actually increasing their production quite a lot. We worked on lots of different layouts together and Collaborative came up with the idea of using the two robots, one handling the slip sheets, one handling the cans themselves. We used Kuka robots, so we really were concerned about speed and delivery time around it. It needed something that could actually handle a large magnetic gripper to handle a range of different sizes. And we had to have a second robot gripper that could handle slip sheets, top frames and also pallets. So we used the KR180s which were key for this project, we had 180 kilos on the payload. Once we got the design bedded down and we looked at what we need to do for the solution, one of the key criteria that James Strong wanted to have was they wanted to have James Strong Blue. So while we took a standard Kuka robot, which we thought was great, we needed to really make it part of the system by colorizing it all blue itself. We like to customize our solutions and really make sure that it fits within their workplace. And having this as a blue solution is what they wanted in the end and you can see what the result is. Tomorrow I'll be making cans for 40 years and I've not seen anything like that before. The factories are generally old, dirty, there's a lot of oil and grease, but here it's very much a dairy standard, so what the customers see in their factory, they ought to see in our factory as well. I think this is now creating another benchmark. I think it gives a great boost to the area something that we're very proud of to put new facility in. We've employed 12 new full-time employees. So that's 12 full-time jobs that have been created in Kyabram. The whole facility has been moulded around what's current best practice. It does give us a, a competitive edge. So one thing we pride ourselves at Scott is being able to do what we say. We're an automation company, we're good at what we do. We like to be able to communicate that to our customer and really take them through the whole process from initial consultation around the sales process to overall project delivery. It's fantastic when you look at what James Strong is able to achieve in the six months. From an empty site to a full turnkey facility from all their canning lines, also the robot side of things, not only mention the pelletizers, but also our blank loading. So it's really exciting to see that someone like James Strong is putting all this into the market and then reinvesting into the, the local area.